Hey guys, so sorry I'm not on track with the project. I am one day behind. Um, I should be on Edward II by Krista Marlowe, but I'm on Dr. Faustus, so um, it's okay. So let's talk about Marlowe. Interesting guy. Um, he was baptized in 1564. Whether he was born that year, 1564. Three is unknown, um, but most likely in 1564. Um, and he greatly, greatly influenced Shakespeare. Um, they were born the same year, but Marley started writing for Shakespeare, and um. Marlowe died at the age of 29, around the time when Shakespeare began to write. Shakespeare probably wrote, like, um, started writing around 1590, 1589. Um, and I'll get to his death in a sec, but, um, he was born to a shoemaker. Um, he wrote, I want to say, how many, I'm trying to think, I think it's like six plays, maybe, um, interesting thing about him, he was thought to have been a government and spy, um, he was thought to be homosexual, and he was thought to be an atheist, and he was eventually arrested and um, killed in a drunken fight, although there's, there's stories that he faked his death, so that, that's another story. So. He was stabbed, and there's, it was a big thing, you know. Anyway, um, moving on from Marlowe, um, talking about Faust, um, it's based on the Faust story, um, it was, it's legend about a man making a deal with the devil, it was from the Faust book, which is a German story, um, but, um, out of that came Dr. Faust, and, no, Dr. Faust is, I don't know how Dr. Faust, Dr. Faust is, um, and, it, I wouldn't, I think, um, Goethe's version is probably the more clean version of Faust. I, I won't say. Anyway. Um, but this is written in a time of great materials and I mean the, the Elizabethans were very materialistic and that's what this play dresses material and knowledge, which was in the English Renaissance, a big thing. Um, now, this play was first performed in 1994 and then 1502. Um, but I, I think one of those notable adaptations was the Greenwich Theatre in London, so that was in 2001, that was an adaptation. Um, yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to start talking about the play. Um, so Valdez 
Valdez and Cornelius is at best is when later on the scholars search for him. And that's his talks in Mephistopheles, the devil, and some devils are conjured late, 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 right after. And then Faustus makes the deal with Mephistopheles, selling his soul for Mephistopheles being his servant. Um, two servants, Robin and Rafe, steal some of Faustus' books to conjure women. And Faustus, um, when he's damned, later on he goes to Rome. Um, he appears as a spirit and haunts some friars and popes. Rob and Rafe are discovered and punished by Mephistopheles. By that time, Festus is <clears throat> achieved like celebrity status, and the emperor praises him. And then Festus tricks the horse courser, and him Mephistopheles pleases the duke and duchess. And his first slave draws to meet near. He thinks about repenting, but ultimately asks for a woman. In the end, when his life is being taken away, he tries to save himself, but fails big time. So, um, the major characters in this play, Festus, Mephistopheles, Wagner, or Wagner, I don't know if this is. Well, it comes from German, and there they are in Germany, so it would be um, Wagner, Robin, and Rafe, um, and the Angels. Um, this play addresses Calvinism, forty in themes. Uh, I guess the main analysis of this is training in salvation for wisdom and well. Um. I'd say it's kind of short, tragic ending. Um, I ain't as strong tragic ending, that's the good part, but a little too short, no real conflict. That's just not developed enough. Plot not well structured, characters not developed well, so. Um, and yeah. That's all I have for Faustus. I'll see you later.